Good morning. I'm Peter Melios from the Finance Q's Network. US markets hovered around flat as traders and investors awaited earnings numbers from Google parent Alphabet and EV giant Tesla. Both companies were due to report after the close. The S&P 500 just tipped into the red, finishing down 0.16%. The Nasdaq closed 0.06% lower, and the Dow Jones ended the day down 0.14%. In company news, UPS closed down 12% on the day after the logistics giant reported weaker than expected second quarter results. General Motors shares fell 6.4% after delivering better than consensus earnings. However, the car giant also flagged delays to its plans for electric and autonomous vehicles. The key results were released after the market closed with Tesla reporting weaker than expected earnings for the second quarter as automotive sales dropped for a second straight period. Revenue increased 2%, but automotive sales dropped 7% to 19.9 billion from 21.27 billion in the same quarter a year ago. The stock was trading more than 3% lower in aftermarket trading. Google parent Alphabet reported slightly better than expected profit and revenue numbers of US $84.7 billion versus consensus expectations of US $84.3 billion. The company also said that quarterly cloud revenue topped US $10 billion and operating profit topped US $1 billion for the first time. The stock was trading near the flat line after the market. FactSet data shows about 20% of the S&P 500 companies have posted second quarter results now with 80% of those names beating expectations. In more good news for the smaller end of town, the small cap focus Russell 2000 index rose 1.03% as the rotation into the rate sensitive sectors continued. The Russell 2000 index has risen 9% over the past 10 sessions, contrasting with the 3% decline in the NASDAQ 100. The shift to small caps come as investors grow increasingly confident that the Federal Reserve will soon begin lowering interest rates, a move seen as particularly helpful for smaller and more cyclical oriented companies. In commodities news, oil fell for a fourth straight session, the longest losing streak since early June, driven by algorithmic selling and low seasonal liquidity. U.S. oil settled below U.S. $77 a barrel. Turning to U.S. sectors, the worst performing sector was energy, which closed 1.55% lower, driven by those lower oil prices. The best performing sector was materials, which closed 0.38% higher. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape now, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.1% gain. Thank you for listening and have a great day.